Hello, my friends. I was asked to talk about the pole shift, the change of the our magnetic field on Earth. Uh, will it occur in 2012? What will it change for us? How will we experience it? We already started to recognize there is a shift of the magnetic field. Here in the Tampa Bay, we have a shift of about 10% already. And uh, you can recognize this if you live near the equator and you watch the flow of water in the northern hemisphere. Water flows in the sink, making a right turn in the southern hemisphere. It flows into the sink, making a left turn. We now recognize that sometimes it makes a left turn in the northern hemisphere, which shows that the magnetic poles have started to weaken. And this process of weakening is the sign of a coming shift. As you probably have heard, there is a second wave of manifestation of creation right now, and the third wave will start on February 3rd, 2012. In this third wave, the poles will shift, maybe not in 2012, but in 2013. It is a process which takes some time, some months, to manifest. And uh, in this process, we, you will recognize the disturbance in your vision. During the pole shift, you might have the feeling that you are blind, you live in a dark world where your eyes are out of service. To be prepared of this, you have no time to experience one secure room in your home, blindfolding your eyes. Try to live without eyesight for an hour or so. Prepare to have food and water ready for about three days, which you can reach without using your eyes. Be prepared to share this time with family and friends because it will be a time of great fear. The change of the magnetic field will change the communication between our neurons and our brain. And this makes the loss of eyesight for some hours or maybe for some days. This changing of the neuron communication will make a lot of difference after the pill shift because we will have a different kind of learning. We will have a different kind of loving. We will have a different kind of communication. Our eyesight will return, but we will recognize people more easily. We will recognize knowledge easily. And we will love easily. So a lot of good things coming with this pole shift, even if it's a time of great fear, because it will disturb our daily lives for some time. The next thing you will have to do after the pole shift is that you look outside and see the change in your world. Maybe you will have a change of climate. Maybe you lived in a tropical region and now you live in a region near the poles and it's freezing cold. Or you lived in a northern region and now it's quite hot outside and you have no air conditioning, so a lot of things to experience and to get used to very quickly to survive that. Um, but overall, the change is a change of grace, it's a change to the better. and prepare by leaving your borders which tells you you cannot, you will not, you are not, you are, you will and you can. Love and love and love. See you soon.